Good morning and welcome aboard. So, my name is Peter, so I'll be your driver guide for today for your Canberra 2 experience. So we're going to slowly leave the city and make our way out towards the freeway and then um, probably through a little bit of traffic, which is very normal for Friday morning, and then straight down towards the Saturn's Forest. It will be our first morning stop, roughly about an hour and about 40 minutes from here. Hour and 45, so... When we get down there, we're going to stop at one very nice cafe down there. It's called the Hedebray Pie Shop. So they do sell all types of pies, pastries, coffee, cakes and so on. If, um, how we say here, if that's not your cup of tea, well there's always McDonald's next door. They can accommodate that as well. After we leave there, so we're gonna make our way down towards Canberra, which is pretty much the halfway, so we're gonna have another hour and a half or so to go. And when we get down to the capital, <coughs> we're gonna make our way for the first morning stop, which would be at Mount Ainsley. So Mount Ainsley is a um, very nice lookout panoramic view down towards the city of Canberra. We're gonna spend a little bit of time there taking some photos and so on and then we're gonna make our way down to the the War Memorial. So Australian War Memorial which is the largest memorial in the country. So what's gonna happen there is once we get to the memorial so you will have time to visit another restaurant for lunch so lunch today is in your own expense and pretty much after lunch we're gonna go to the memorial so we're gonna be met by one of the guides that's gonna come and is gonna be with us for the whole day so that time will be given a little bit later on today once when we get closer to it so after visiting the war memorial we're gonna make our way to the National Australian Museum with the same guide so which um, they will take you through and explain all the interesting things and so on and then the last stop it's gonna be the new Parliament House so which is another great place to visit again with the same guide and as we finish the tour there we're gonna board the bus again and then we're gonna have a drive through to see some of the embassies and high commissions <coughs> and um, slowly make our way back towards Sydney we'll be stopping in the town of Goulburn for the afternoon late afternoon early evening stop for your again refreshments and snacks and so on and then we're going to depart for Sydney. We should get ourselves into Sydney somewhere around 9pm this evening. So that's pretty much what the, um, what the day should look like.
are officially entering ACT territory, Australian Capital Territory, city of Canberra or Canberra. So we should be down at our destination within the next 15 or so minutes. To the left, you can see some of the industrial sites, such as the big European furniture company known as IKEA a few other buildings and just behind those buildings is the Canberra's International Airport it's also located on the eastern side of the town
So his idea was to establish an Australian place where we can honour our war dead. <coughs> um, Australia became a Commonwealth, a, Commonwealth, a Commonwealth of Australia in 1901. Prior to 1901, you represented your state. There were the states of Queensland, New South Wales, uh, Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania, Western Australia. So that's what you can see. You can see. Break down. You'll see a ribbon of the uh, lake, not very much of it, but the lake is there. You can see a boat on the lake. Um, and behind it, you see a low white building. That is our old Parliament House. So that is Parliament House from 1927. The uniform of the Australian and the New Zealanders were quite similar. The New Zealand cap was quite different, but in general fairly similar.
And as we're moving along this particular way here on the left hand side we have the Navy Memorial dedicated to all the naval personnel and to the right hand side is the Australian Army Memorial also known as Diggers. This red gravel that we can see through the centre is known as Ochre Red. It's quarried from the nearby river known as Paddy River. So it's not coloured, so that's how it is when they in a natural colour. And a small shrub that we can see through the centre on the right hand side as well is the gift from the people of New Zealand. And those um, shrubs and flowers are known as Hibi. Also to the left we got the Nurses Memorial and to the right is the Korean Memorial. To the left is the Australian Royal Air Force, Point Cook at Victoria. The shiny bits that represent the wings of the planes. To the right is the Vietnam Memorial. Also on the left hand side as we're approaching, it's called the Reds of the Tabruk, which is in Libya, 1940s. To the right is the Desert Mounted Corps, which is one of the first memorials to be aligned in this section here in the early days of 1950s, dedicated to the battles of the um, Palestine, Syria and Egypt. And the next one as we come into the left is actually brand new to the left and right that is the Australian Peacekeeping Memorial dedicated to 40,000 peacekeeping forces and to the right is the Boer War 1902 This particular one on the left and right hand side if we have a look it's actually identical that is the Australian New Zealand Memorial given to us as a gift in 1996 by the Prime Minister of New Zealand that also represents a very close friendship between two nations as what they represent is they sit 100 meters apart and they represent handles of the traditional weaving baskets that they use in New Zealand so that shows that New Zealand holds one side of the basket Australia holds the other side of the basket because they look identical straight up ahead of us on the big roundabout on the left once we turn right on your left hand side it's going to be a big lake lake burley griffin so a lake that was named after the design of canberra the lake that spreads to about 35 kilometers in foreshore line but the length of the lake is only 11 kilometers Also, if you look across the lake to our left hand side, that off shaped building, that is the High Court of Australia, so that's the highest place of appeal in the country. And to our right hand side, right across, is the National Library of Australia. Old Parliament House is straight up ahead of us, right across the water, and behind the Old Parliament House is the New Parliament. approaching this greenery here on the left hand side that is known as a Commonwealth Park that's the largest park in Canberra to the left mainly used for big events concerts and the biggest event they host is the Florian Festival and that happens in the months of September and October so officially last two weeks in September and first two weeks in October. That's an official welcoming of spring time in Australia. To our right hand side is the Canberra's business district or CBD also known as Civic Centre. And as we're moving along to the right hand side Right up on top, the front building, if we have a careful look at it, 
So we'll see that every corner of that, or every side of that building looks different. That's designed by the Japanese architects. So, very, very interesting building. So it's a hotel. In the early days, it used to be known as Hotel Hotel. Now it's it's a part of the Obola group of hotels. And the rooms you can expect to pay you up to about five hundred dollars per night. Of course, offers a great view towards the uh, towards the lake. That's to the left hand side, so you can see you can see the view to the lake. And of course, we are making our way towards the um, National Museum of Australia. This place is also a home of the Australian National University as well. So that is to the right hand side. And uh, when it was built, it was a bit bare on the hill, but since then, the
that of the Liberal Party, so we have two parties main up. Anyway, we're going to this one here. Pardon me, the trouble was, he probably would have been part of the party. Thank you.